kids. Today we will learn about prepositions and how and where to use them. So let's start. The first preposition we are going to learn about is in. The cat is in the basket. The rat is in the hole. The bat is in the kit. The toys are in the basket. The pens are in the stand. The colors are in the box. So we learned in which cases do we use in or which position is known as in. Here we have the next preposition and it is on. Now we will see examples where on is used. The cat is on the table. The rat is on the chair. The pen is on the floor. The remote is on the cabinet. The fruits are on the table. So we learnt where to use on now it's time for our next preposition, and it's under, also called beneath. The cat is under the table. The rat is beneath the chair. The book is beneath the bed. The dustbin is under the desk. The lion is sitting under the tree. Now it's time for the next preposition, and it's over. This naughty cat jumped over the table. The monkey jumped over the pond. The bird flew over the river. The aeroplane is flying over the building. The aeroplane is flying over the river. The clouds are floating over the building. The horse jumped over the fence. So we learned where to use over. Now it's time for our next preposition, which is between. The cat is sitting between two boys. The boy is sleeping between two trees. The horse is standing between two zebras. When something is in the center of two things or persons, we say between. Now we will learn where to use among. The cat is sitting among many caterpillars. When something or someone is in the center of more than two things, we use among. And between is used when something or someone is in the center of two things. The yellow ball is lying among many blue balls. The curl is standing among many flowers and butterflies. The lion is sitting among the cubs. So when something is in the center of more than two things, we say among. When something or someone is in the center of two things, we say between. It's time for the next preposition, and it is beside. The cat is sitting beside the chair. The rat is beside the cheese. The lion is beside the river. The boy is sleeping beside his mother. The girl is sitting beside her mother. When something is just next to the other thing, or very close to it, we say beside. Into. This is our next preposition. The cat jumped into the box. The frog jumped into the pond. He dropped his toy in the bucket. The boy jumped into the pool. So we are clear when to use into. Now, here is our next preposition, and it is near. 
The cat is sitting near the table. When something is close to something, we say near. The pen is lying near the fruit basket. The lamp is lying near the bed. The teacher is standing near the pole. The bench is lying near the river. Our next preposition is above. The lamp is hanging above the table. The chandelier is hanging above the dining table. The grapes are hanging above the ground. Oh, good! We are done with so many prepositions. Let's learn some more. Our next preposition is around. The car is moving around the fountain. The earth revolves around the sun. Everybody is sitting around the bonfire. Inside. The cat is inside its house. I am going inside the mall. I am going inside the car. He is going inside the school. Outside. The cat is outside its house. I am waiting outside the school. The rat is coming outside its burrow. We have done so many prepositions. Next is in front of. The cat is sitting in front of the mirror. She is standing in front of the mirror. He is standing in front of the curtain. They are standing in front of the picture. He is standing in front of the clock. Next preposition, towards. The cat is going towards the rat. I am going towards the school. He is going towards the train. He is coming towards me. Our next preposition, through. This cat cannot pass through this small hole. He cannot pass through this obstacle. So kids, today we learned so many prepositions. And a preposition tells the position of one thing or person with respect to other things or person. Now go ahead and take a quiz to earn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.